I got my guy Devin Haney in here. Devin. Haney versus Garcia. We two weeks away. It's going down in Brooklyn at the Barclays. On the zone. April 20th. On the 20th. April 20th. April 20th. On April 20th. I can't wait. Well, man, I'm talking to whoever that's listening. I mean, you might have two ha two cameras, but you know what I mean? I got one mouth, so concentrate, man. Devin the Dream Haney versus Ryan Garcia. We two weeks away. The time, listen. Ryan, your time is running out. 14 days. Guys, I can't squad. believe there's Great any debate about this. Crew. Devin Haney is gonna tune Ryan Garcia up like a <laughs> guitar. Is that eight? Twelve days, baby. I'm ready. I'm ready. I think I lost for the strength, for the guys. Two days left. It's almost that time to shine in front of the world. We will see hard work, my dedication, my discipline, and shine. He's the best in the sport, and he's the best in the sport for a reason. Um, he has the best skill set that he's worked on, hammered on, you know, time and time. Again, you know what I mean? Many, many, many hours in the gym. Um, his his uh, skill set and, and where he, at, he is as a fighter, uh, to me, is at the top of the game. Getting you an hour and 45 minutes of professional feel. So my name is James Lockwood. Um, Devin's nutritionist and chef. Champ's coming off of a sparring session today. At this stage of camp, calories are very, very specific. So we get him a post-workout shake for when he's finished with his sparring. He can get some carbohydrates and some protein into his system immediately. And then by the time he gets home, he'll be ready to go for dinner. I have a bunch of vegetables. I have some onions, some green onions, some raw garlic, tomatoes, habanero peppers, Fresno chilies. Uh, with just a little bit of sea salt. <clears throat> and we'll get these in the oven, we're gonna roast these off, and then we'll make a sauce out of this when it's time. So we're gonna toast some quinoa. So this is uncooked dry quinoa. And we just put a little toast on it. It brings out a lot of flavor. Uh, flavor's important as we're starting to trim down and the calories are getting less moving into fight week. It's gotta look good, it's gotta taste good. So this just does a little extra enhancement to the quinoa. I like quinoa in uh, replace of maybe other starchy carbohydrates like uh, say rice or pasta even. Curry chicken, toasted quinoa, lemon broccolini, little extra sauce, lime juice. I got your water. For right sure. Now. Thank you. Enjoy. I get better with the less calories, right? Oh, <laughs> Superman over here. Yeah, Superman. for <laughs> I think I was singing that phrase today earlier. I said, man, I've never seen any athlete operate at such a high level when calories come down. Yeah. I would have said it's a testament to probably your heart yeah, and your sure. tenacity. Was it less calories um, today than yesterday or, or what? No, more calories today. Okay, more calories. But not by a lot. And why I like what we do, I like how we're feeding you more. Uh, you know, right, like one, you get up, go back to rest, come yeah. down, eat again, yeah. come back, go down. Keeping those calories going into you is what's allowing you to like feel like you're not hungry. Mm -hmm. You know, even though they're a little bit smaller, we keep them steadily going in. Great work. That's called the thermic effect of food plus diaphoretic ingredients. So ingredients like that, like chilies and mm -hmm. ginger stuff, heat you up from the inside out. 17 days ago. I'm excited where I'm, where I'm at in camp mentally, physically. Now we just keep sharpening up, keep preparing, waiting to, to peak at the right time. My whole team, I feel like everybody plays a role. Everybody, you know, has you know some part in you know my greatness, and um, helping me improve. Each fight get better, each day get better as a person. Overall, you know, I'm, I'm just a, a workhorse. It's what I it's what I love to do. So, you know, my off days, rest days, I feel like I'm 
I'm not doing enough. I feel I don't, but you know, I know that rest is just important as working. So I do take the days off that, that are necessary, but I try to, you know, limit it as much as possible. I'm very happy to, that I'm doing this at the highest level with my dad. I wouldn't want it no other way. He sacrificed to, to be here with me. He saw the vision at a young age when a lot of people didn't, a lot of people couldn't. It was just so far, you know, to, to, to be in this position. Um, but, um, you know, that's why, you know, the, all the hard work that he put in, I put in, is paying off. And, you know, we're, we're receiving the, the fruits of it. Tomorrow we leave to LA. I uh, got a media workout. Yeah, so we just wishing over a good day of sparring today and uh, making our way to LA. Power of six, LA's number one for hip hop. Good morning. We are Brown Bag Mornings, and I got my guy Devin Haney in here. Devin, you came straight from Las Vegas. You're going back and forth. You know, it's 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 April. I know when we had like these first press conference. I think it was the end of February. You and Ryan Garcia. We're finally making this fight happen. And like, we're down to like, the next couple of weeks, it's gonna be here. I'm um, starting to get them to the, the, the feeling that uh, right. it, it's almost here. Uh, you know, it's it was a little shaky in the beginning, right. but, um, but uh, now we're, we're two weeks away and uh, I'm excited for it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Devin Haney, for coming through. 420, it's on. It's going down in Brooklyn at the Barclays. And if you want your tickets, you gotta, you gotta hit us up. And, you know, can we give away some tickets? I think that would be tight. You want to give away some tickets with yeah, me? Let's do it. Yeah. Yup, we're back at it. Devin Haney, the dream is here. Let's champ. go. Real 92 or 3. What up, champ? How you feel, man? Oh, I'm amazing. I'm happy to, happy to be back. Man, we're happy you're here, bro. It's all love, man. Dude, it seems like Ryan Garcia's on TikTok live more than he's training. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. Um, like I said. We don't know. This fight is bigger than Ryan. It's bigger than, than any opponent. You know, mm -hmm. I'm in competition with, with greatness, you know. So no matter, you know, what Ryan shows up for uh, that night, I'll be ready. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, we'll find out on the 20th, on the zone, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia, we'll find out who's really prepared. Currently going to the media day workout and then uh, sparring after. Everything is looking great. It's a lot of media here. We're at Wild Card Gym in Hollywood, California. Two weeks before our main event with Ryan Garcia, 420. And uh, we're looking good. We're ready. We're sharp. Uh, we put in the final uh, exclamation points on the things we're going to do in the ring on that great Saturday afternoon, Saturday night. And uh, yeah, we're on track, and I want the fans out there to be looking for a great performance from Devin Haney while you enjoying that smoke day. Nothing by with the video. From here, we gotta go back to camera one. Copy that. Copy. And the reason you know how to do your job is uh, discipline. We were just talking this about this in the air. Most of the time, fighters, when we do these media things, it's just for the cameras. We tell you, we do the interviews. We don't spar. You're about to spar once they kick everyone out. I mean, yeah. yeah. We already know who you're going to spar. You know, you already know what camp you're going to do. Where exactly? Is this every media session or just here in Wildcard? Uh, no, this is pretty much every every media session. You know, this is this is my this is my job. This is what I do. This is what I love to do. Um, you know, this is a small you know a, a, a small part of it. At the end of the day, you know, the, the, the media thing is cool, but you know, I really want to be a, a great in the sport, and I'm in. You know, competition with greatness. This is bigger than Ryan Garcia. This is bigger than any opponent. You know, Ryan Garcia is just another opponent to me. Uh, I'm, I'm in competition with greatness, so uh, that's why I, that's why I train so hard. That's why I work so hard. Uh, even if it may seem like my opponent may not be focused, we don't know if he is or if he isn't. That's not for us to focus on. I still put my all to to, to get better and better. Devin Haney's media workout here, Wild Card Boxing in Hollywood, California. Devin just finished up his media obligations. Now he's in the other room getting his hand wraps moments away from doing his media workout. It's real, you know, you see, it's a big event. You see how much media came out today. Um, like two weeks away. I'm excited for it. It's, 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 it's getting me going now. And Devin, Devin's a class act, you know. Um, he's a monster in the ring. I mean, I, I've always said he's got the, he's got one of the best IQs in boxing today. It's dangerous, very, very dangerous. But when I saw him fight Progress, 
I said, wow, and he has power? So that's a pretty dangerous combination. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be tough to beat him. Uh, it's gonna take something special to beat, to beat Devin Haney, but I don't think it's in him, man. He's, he's, he's got a heart of a freaking lion, man. He's, he's, he's a warrior. Haney time, y'all know what time it is. Haney time, best time in the world. What kind of steps forward did Devin take last year? I just have an opportunity to get in there with the fighters that he has gotten in there with over the last year and Number the timing that he was able to do it um, is a testament to all the hard work. Um, and you got a chance to see uh, each fight he's gotten better and better, you know what I mean? So to, uh, to win over now, the people to understand that, that he's serious, um, that he's a champion and we, we plan to be around. Maddox, final thoughts on Dev today. Well, I always compare resumes. Who have you fought? Who have you beaten? And if you compare Devin Haney's resume, with Ryan Garcia's resume, it's night and day. This is a man who's fought Dan Bolson's back-to-back -back in Australia. Facility high-tech Lomachenko, future Hall of Famer, and Regis program moving up in weight. You can't compare the resumes. You gotta favor Haney in this fight, not only in technique and speed, the jab, everything is on Haney's side. Ryan Garcia has a tall, tall mountain to climb in this fight. I think it's gonna be a good fight. I think it's gonna be a back and forth. Um, I think it's gonna be, um, um, you know, you gotta keep in mind that both guys fought each other, right? Six times, so they know each other. And that's gonna come out. The passion is gonna come out, you watch. You know, both guys wanna win, and you know, you know Ryan comes out, comes out guns blazing. So, obviously Haney has to keep his composure, you know, in the, in the, in the line of fire. So, I, I, I love his style. I love his style. I love Ryan's style, his style. It's, it's going to be a good fight. It's a tough fight to predict. I think Devin has the ability to win this fight 12 0, quite frankly. But I think Ryan Garcia has the ability to knock him out with one shot in the third or the fourth round. It's all going to come down to whether or not Devin can take away the power of Ryan Garcia. I thought he did an excellent job of that against Regis Progray, taking it away with the left hand. If he can do it again, it could be a good night for Devin Haney. Austin, we don't want to show too much. Is everything cool? You don't want to show too much. You make sure your boy is there. I know you're only showing five percent. Listen, you didn't show enough. You make sure your boy is there. Not even that. You can't show everything. I'm not his trainer. Make sure he can bring his boy. I'm not his trainer. I'm not his trainer. Well, I know if he got a little bit, if he had this much of Oscar in him, he would be there on April 20th. I wish you could see this. But, you know, April 20th, you know what I'm saying? Down goes Ryan. Today we're interviewing the Devin Haney team. Guide me through your fit. Nike socks, Nike shorts, contenders, Nike shirt, some calm. Do you like your job? My job, I love my job. I get to I get to be around boxing every day. <laughs> yes, ma'am. What's your name? My name is Josh. Okay. <laughs> How much do your shoes cost? Hundred dollars. Three or Um. <laughs> How strong are you? I'm very strong. I can do 150 push-ups straight. Okay. Wow. Bye -bye. <laughs> What's your name? What's my name? Alicia. <laughs> what you do your nails cost? Um, these were a good eighty-five dollars plus a tip. What is your last name? Bum Gardner. <laughs> what is your favorite food? Um, you know what? I got a sister-in-law named Six. She can really put it in the mix. It's this little um, seafood Alfredo that she gets together every now and then that I really love to stop by for. Thank you. Thank you. How was your workout? The workout was good. I'm a little tired today. I had a long day yesterday in training. So I was a little fatigued, but training, training was good. How did you like it? 
I loved it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> That's it from the Haney team today.